I'm Monster for Innovative. I'm here to do a uh, demo on Google Plus. And here we are. So I'll sign up with a Google account. And we're logged in. There's me, Awesome Harris. Profile picture. My email. And so here's a quick overview of Google Plus here. And uh, a note about field trial. Um, Google Plus right now is in field trial, which means that um, it's invite only. You need to be invited by somebody who has Google Plus and invites open periodically. And so right here's my uh, wall. Here's people in my circles, which I'll explain in a second. And um, as you can see, it's kind of similar to Facebook. The fact that you can post links, they'll automatically um, Generate links. You can like something. In Google Plus, liking something is plus wanting it. Um, so, I'll do plus one something and then D plus one it. And then, um, like Facebook, you've got a about you profile. You can choose what to um, share or not. Unlike Facebook, you can actually edit stuff. And so, um, say, I don't want people in the, my extended circles to see my education, or I want everybody in the web to see it. So I say, anyone in the web, I say save. <laughs> if I'm more paranoid, I can say custom, um, only add people in friends and acquaintances, and say save. There, and now only they know. Occupation, employment. You, you can fill out stuff, you can choose not to fill out stuff. It's, you have full control over who sees what in your profile. This also works for posting something. And so, if I posted, this and I can say like who I want to share this with and so I can either share with um, I can select and deselect people in my certain circles and <coughs> the circles are it's just clusters of friends that you predetermine you can say okay well these people go here these people go here you can you can sort your friends or sort you sort the people you know and there's different groups and depending on um, who they are they you can choose what they know and don't know about you. So people you just met, you don't want to share something personal you post on um, Google Plus, so you can select that. Um, if it's just something generic, then you share it with everybody. All right, so I'll go to the circles here. And so um, right here, um, here are my circles I have so far. I have one for friends, people I actually like know in real life. Um, family, I don't have any family yet. Um, plus yet. Acquaintances, following. Um, oh yeah, this is where you drag and drop into it. Yeah, and so if I want to add um, some person to this circle, I could just drag them in, and drop them, and they'll be there. And I can also remove them right after, if I can like, scroll down or something. Hopefully I can scroll down. So right here, my biggest circle so far is um, a circle for what CD, which is a um, torrent site and forum I belong to, and there was a big thread just to add everybody, and so it's great for testing out, and this is what most of the users on Google Plus so far are doing. It's just people that know each other from the internet, adding each other, and testing out Facebook, because they're the, uh, um, Google Plus, because they're the people that know about it. As soon as it becomes um, open to the public, then everybody and their dog will be joined. 
like Facebook, you've got friend suggestions. Um, you've got, well, um, like Facebook, you've got a stream, and so all your recent stuff is here. However, you can have uh, look at different streams. So streams from your friends, streams from um, your other circles, family, acquaintances, or people you're following. So I guess it's kind of um, has a Twitter aspect to it too. You can follow people; they don't have to friend you, but um, anything they say that they want to tell to their followers, then they can go right ahead. They don't have to share their whole private life with you, like they would if you had a Facebook. There's a chat service, just like Facebook. I'm probably uh, a bit more fun. I haven't tried it out yet. Um, something new with Google Plus are Hangouts, which is basically um, multiple-way video conferencing in the browser. And so if I start a Hangout, we need to install a plugin. What it does is it lets you uh, video chat with multiple people at the same time. And Facebook is trying to catch up and um, provide a similar service, but um, I think um, since it's rushed and trying to imitate Google Plus, it's not going to be the, um, on the same level of sophistication. Plus, we're talking about Google here. Okay. Everybody's going to... Let's try this again. And so, just a general circle. You can hang out with a whole circle of friends, only with a certain person. Or uh, start typing an email or something. <coughs> and so um, if they're not there, it's going to say this, but if they're logged in, then you video chat. You can see the mic is picking up my voice. You can regular chat. And so it's basically Skype integrated as well a service that more people are likely to be logged on to, so I guess it's even more convenient than Skype. And so, so far, Google Plus is trying to be a multitude of um, social media services. It's trying to be Facebook, Twitter, and um, Skype at the same time. But it's integrating it in a way that's really user-friendly, really nice to use, integrated with all your other Google services, YouTube, Gmail, stuff that most people have, and it looks really nice. And so it, it's also free of all the um, advertising and um, applications, quizzes and whatnot that Facebook is full of. And so hopefully it will stay free of that. And because of that, it's a much nicer service to use, at least at this stage in development. see here you've got all your other Google applications right in the same bar. Also if you um neat thing if you're logged into your Google account and you have a Google Plus, if somebody on your um, Google Plus likes a link or plus ones it, then um, you will see when you're searching on something in Google, so and so shared this right underneath it. And so um, it's completely integrated with everything Google's done, and it, it works really well. That's Google Plus.